Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Hermitcraft server where we are in the new chunks, in the new terrain. As you maybe have heard by now, Hermitcraft updated to 1.19. Oh yeah, so the ominous caves and cliffs update, which is pretty much a cave update because the deep dark. <laughs> you know, there's some mangrove and some frogs and stuff. But other than that, um, everybody's buzzing about the Deep Dark and the Warden. People are hyped about something in this update, then it's for sure. The Deep Dark. And yeah, today we're gonna deal with the Warden a little bit. You know, play around a bit, have some fun, and then see what we can do. Um, but yeah, uh, first of all, I wanna give you guys a big, big thank you <laughs> from the bottom of my heart because yeah um last episode we said hey let's do a little uh, you know comment and like record for this season and you guys smashed it i mean <laughs> over 10,000 comments and likes galore let's just keep this a common practice how about that <laughs> it was really good i think somebody posted oh the video is trending in somewhere i don't know i never see when a video is trending i have no idea why i don't see that not even for other people <laughs> i don't get this thing where it says trending on not on mobile and i also don't get it on my computer for some odd reasons so i never know if anything is even trending <laughs> i so <laughs> there's that but yeah for real guys thank you so much well, it's very nice of you, and it's always great to see you know you guys feeling. Uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna give something back. There was so many nice comments as well saying you guys are thankful for what we do here in Hermitcraft and so on. So yeah, I'm 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 really glad about that. Thank you so much for real. Um, another yeah person to thank, <laughs> aside of all of you, special person for today's episode, of course, for the thumbnail. Check it out. <laughs> Lodo Rigo, and at the moment I have three cool thumbnails uh, lined up I want to use. So your thumbnail artists always, you know, keep checking your posts. I don't always uh, contact you right away. Maybe there's a week or two or maybe a month later. So, you know, keep your eyes up. Um, you know, I might I might holler at you. But anyways, back to the thumbnail. Um, amazing, amazing art piece here. I love how dynamic everything looks in the background. There's crazy chaos and I'm just, yeah, let's get it. Uh, so yeah, as usual, all the important links in the video description and out here is like I constantly get swamped by the zombies. Um, amazing art piece, loved it so much. Like I, yeah, as I said, it's always a hard choice what to do, but you know I just line them up and pick one after the other. Well, why? Are we here? Somewhere out here in the wilderness? Well, um, I checked and below us there should actually be some skulk. We're not looking for an ancient city. We do that a little bit later. We right now are just interested in finding some skulk and shriekers so we can play around with the wardens a little bit. Interesting questions, of course, last episode as well about the cannon technology. We'll get back to that today a little bit and I answer a few more questions about it. Um, and we do some more ex interesting experiments. <laughs> I love the reactions you guys shared in the comments about uh, you know, the netherite armor actually being completely deleted. Of course, I knew that was going to happen, right? Um, kind of built the episode up uh, with this dramatic ending and yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely didn't uh, fail. Um, a lot of you guys were like, holy crap, this is insane. And that was exactly the reaction I was hoping for. So, <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, <laughs> hey, is this... Can we chill? I'm just digging straight down. Come on. So yeah, we're looking for a skulk. <laughs> and um, there should be a shrieker somewhere down here. Yeah, here it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sneak 100 advancement. All right then. What 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 is that? Even you you sneak and you avoided the detection the sensor here. Okay. So hope it is bright enough. Hmm. It's always so dark in these deep dark <laughs> places. Wait. Can I place a torch on the? Oh no. Okay. That'll. You. That's not good. We don't want to do unnecessary triggerings here. But there is a shrieker. Yes, we want to get that. And the best way to get it is pretty much to isolate it. So it cannot get any more alarms from the from the detectors, right? 
Let me just go there, make our way to there. I mean, okay, we should activate gamma override so we can actually see something. Um, don't want to place torches and trigger unnecessary. Oh, the exciting gameplay in the deep dark, right? <laughs> Darkness. Can't see anything. Uh, Alright then. Okay, here's that thing. So, we want to, you know... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty well blocked in already. So now we want to take out this guy. And not get a warden. If warden comes, we just run up there and, you know, fly up and uh, let it despawn. It stays around 60 seconds. Yeah, that... Uh, Definitely did some triggering, but we should still be. Yeah, okay. That. That was one. I think you gotta trigger four times, and then the warden will show up. Like, let's let's see if he if we can get him to spawn. You can hear him in the in the distance already. Hmm. I don't know how many triggers we did now. Wait, we need to definitely stay at our hole. <laughs> we'd probably have a straight wall there. So we can actually... Oh! I hear some, some crawling and creeping. Let's get some of our... Uh, nothing yet. Hey, I was on the wool. Why are you mad? Let's get that, so they cannot uh, cannot send signals anymore. Let's get you. Okay, now we can torch a little bit more, I think. Up to here. Cool. Okay, now you can actually see a little bit more. Okay, let's continue our wool path here. Don't upset anybody. Hello. Yeah, here is open. Let's, uh, okay. Stop shrieking. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> Is the one coming? <laughs> Let's back off a bit. Stay in our escape shoot. <laughs> I think now we triggered him twice. Or, you know, the question is did we trigger him twice or three times now? <laughs> if, he comes, I'm, if he comes, I'm running. That's for sure. Don't wanna. <laughs> Get in a death loop here with the warden. Just want to isolate that thing. Okay, can we dig here now? Without something triggering. Yeah, those guys. Should be cool. Okay, let's get down here. Get m a little bit more wool here to isolate ourselves. Okay. Okay. No, why do you spawn here? Warden time. Run, 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 run. Get to our hole. Bye, warden. Ooh, shoo, 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 shoo. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna chill up here real quick. Did we even set our spawn here? Oh no, I don't think. Okay, I mean theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wait 60 seconds, but we almost got the whole shrieker uh, walled in down there. Let me, is the, is the, is the, is he still here? Can we actually see that far? Yeah, some of the mods, of course, are in halt at the moment. You know, because my, um, yeah, there needs to be some rewriting done. Um, but yeah, you know, some others are already updating the mods for us. And having some, yeah, like ports going. They are officially approved by Massa. Don't worry. Cosmo and some others are working on that, so you can use them. But yeah, there is some some weirdness. For example, here with FreeCam, I saw uh, sometimes entities glitch out a little bit. Okay. It's going after after some mobs here, maybe. Although there's nothing going on. Yeah. So here is our thing. Right, we just need to block it in here and below, and then um, we should got it, and then we can work here in peace. <laughs> Where is he? Is he still around? Come on, time to dig in, buddy. But uh, I have to give him one thing for sure with the one, um, it has a really cool texture. Right, it looks cool. I love the antlers of it, and it definitely has the scary effect. Um, yeah, 
Unfortunate though that kind of the uh, spawning is bound to the shriekers pre pre generated in the world like this one here, right? You cannot really move it somewhere else, and um, yeah, that's um, I don't know. I thought that would be cool if you could still touch them and then you know work with wardens a bit more flexibly. Now we have to transport them, but don't worry, I'll show you a nice way to do it today. <laughs> hey, why are you still? What takes so long? I might have to leave. He might hear some mobs in the walls or some bats or some 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 bubbling, you know, of of lava or so. And um, as long as wardens are aggro, they cannot despawn. So it looks like it's definitely after something here. Can't be us. I mean, we're like super far away. And yeah, the moment. Um, Seems to hang out here. I'll observe him for a little while and then um, we'll see if he despawns. Alright, so after a short time the warden despawned and yeah, then I just came down and finished um, wooling in the shrieker. It's right in there. Um, if you have problems with the warden not uh, despawning on you, it can happen. Here I got relatively lucky, it despawned rather quickly. But it could happen that, I don't know, around you there is caves and mobs, you know, and the warden hears them. And as long as the warden is aggro, they won't uh, these uh, burrow in again. So uh, you just gotta make sure um, to fly away then, leave the area for a short time, make sure everything despawns or you go higher up and wait there for a while. You know, so no mobs are close by and then, uh, yeah, the warden will burrow away. Don't panic if you die, there's no need for a death cycle. Just, you know, make sure uh, to wait, uh, I think it takes 60 seconds or whatever, and then they will bury in again if they don't get any any aggro. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, now, um, we want to build a little warden farming setup here. First of all, we want to farm, you know, the shriekers because it's a really nice way to have portable XP. It's actually so funny. I mean, the irony of that is just ridiculous. Like, they made this unkillable mob, you know, that shouldn't have a halfway decent drop, that is useless. You know, nothing you can do with the Skulk stuff much is, is, is cool, but the unintended stuff, again, that this thing actually then drops the Shriekers and you can build really simple farms for them. <laughs> oh man, the irony. Sometimes. Yeah, but what we do is, um, we need to cover an area that is 11 by 11, centered uh, around the Shrieker. And then you can go a few blocks up, there is no super iron rule for that. Um, just don't go too far away. I mean, obviously if you go like, I don't know, 30 blocks up, probably you will get trouble. Just somewhere above the Shrieker you build your platform and you do it uh, from Obsidian and then you set up portals here. The Warden, when they hear noise, and want to spawn, they always pick the higher layer. So it's a kind of a common thing you see often with spawning, like for example iron golem farms are kind of based on a similar principle that you can bank on mobs choosing the highest block to spawn kind of. And yeah, with the warden we are pretty much in the same, same boat here. Yeah, so we built this platform up here and then we just built a little system um, on a clock that will trigger regularly and spawn wardens in here but we will add a little cool hive mind trick to it we will make it so this thing runs all the time uh, we don't need to be here and afk it it will just do its thing and produce mass amounts um, of shriekers for us so it's a really cool design and super easy to do so yeah 11 by 11 platform centered above the shrieker and yeah now we just need to add some portal frames and a tiny little bit of redstone all right so one farm pretty much done it's a really simple build um, we have a hopper clock down here and it has 13 items wait let me break that out so you can actually see 13 random items in here and yeah i have an on off switch there and pretty much what this clock does is it hits this um, torch here and there's a piston sitting there, a sticky piston and a wool block on top and uh, we have our shrieker here fully encased again not fully, the top is open doesn't have to be, you can also have a block on here but yeah, this way it's safe and yeah, to really arm the thing and make it actually spawn wardens on us we need to put a sensor in here so we do this and we close it off 
now you know walking here and doing stuff is safe uh, it wouldn't trigger on us and uh, do something crazy um, even if we activate this it doesn't make enough noise to get stuff spawning you can see that thing is not triggering right so we're good that is one thing we need to do and secondly of course on top um, we created this big portal array the 11 by 11 and yeah there is these portals we're gonna light now and I have a receiving portal on the other side already that will be able to handle them and that's it now everything is lit let's quickly check yeah the 11 by 11 area where the warden can spawn so they go up here and then get teleported away um, so that's the plan now we need a few arrows I think I brought a bunch and we actually want to shoot those arrows in here and by bouncing them up and down we actually keep them alive so and those arrows like something being hit by an arrow that's enough to you know make enough noise as two three four in there or five and let's trigger the thing and now let's see what happens I picked the arrows up again well nothing will happen if I pick the arrows up again <laughs> Probably. okay one two three four yeah. get away okay now they're in there for sure all right and ah uh -huh. we're making noise good 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 okay it works so initially you know after cooldown you need to trigger um, one of these shriekers four times before it actually spawns in the warden that was the third trigger and now we should actually see a warden showing up um, with the next trigger we do this every 10 seconds here all right oh it's getting dark yep there he was warden spawning somewhere in the portal there and uh, doing it doing their thing yeah and here we go we're up and running and that's how the system works we just hang out but you know we'll add some upgrades so we don't have to hang out but yeah wardens are now instantly sent to the nether and i'd say we have a look um, on what's going on in the nether side actually and um, for that i'll switch to my cam account and hopefully i'll get that done and then we can have a look all right cool and here we can see the nether side of things um, it's fairly simple right all the portals we have on our spawning platform are just simply hooked up to this one portal here um, there is some more additions that will play a role later but for now let's focus on the main functionality pretty much trap those here and a noise maker this note block is just hooked up to the clock here um, with these observers and constantly making noise that will lure wardens um, you know to walk in a certain direction you gotta work with sounds that's the easiest way to handle them and here we have actually the powdered snow the warden sees that as a full block and yeah when they get generated here um, you know they will just simply yeah, as you see here one spawns in right and then they will just simply pass find towards the sound look around here here's the sound walk forward try to get there and then fall down into the pit here where we have 22 minecarts at the moment and the entity crammed them to death really quickly relatively quickly for the huge amount of health they have there is a reason we don't go for max entity cramming here and do 24 that would be even faster but yeah um, i'll talk about that later you know we always put a twist to things so you know there's more coming don't you worry but yeah works really fine and then we just have hoppers sitting there right and those hoppers just pick up their drops which is yeah obviously um, the shriekers and yeah as i said they have 20 xp really good uh, portable xp to fix some stuff and yeah that's about it uh, that's as simple as it gets for a warden farm and then we have the chests here where all the items are collected we have uh, something to approach the farm here not to disturb it to walk on wool in case we need to fiddle here and then we have a little special something down here but yeah we'll look into that very soon <laughs> all right over here 
overworld again, picked up my arrows, turned off the machine, no more spawning and we can safely do our thing here, nothing will, will trigger this. But of course now you say, hey, pretty cool, but you know, you need to be here and actually AFK the farm. Um, that's a waste of time. That's right, we don't want to be here and AFK the farm, we want it to run when we are wherever on the server. So therefore, we just need to add a little bit here and I dug out a little bit more space up there. Um, we will add another portal connection and make sure we chunk load this area and then actually it's pretty cool. We can run this farm yeah, from anywhere. It's kind of like the Schalke farm. It will constantly run and therefore have insane outputs because well, once we prime it with the arrows here, it will run 24-7 no matter where we are on the server or whatever we do. <laughs> and yeah, don't think these arrows here will despawn because they are obviously after a minute they would despawn if you just let them sit like that. But as we bounce them we refresh their timer and therefore these arrows will stay alive here forever. So yeah, let's quickly build uh, the add-on here with our chunk loader and I'm gonna use a different uh, chunk loader design this time. And we're gonna use the same portal, the wardens actually arrive um, over there in the nether and um, yeah, that's uh, saving some space and is also helping here because, you know, linking up portals can always be troublesome if you have them to close and whatnot. If you can use one portal for everything, that is of course ideal. So yeah, um, let me do some more redstoning, extend the system and then we are done um, with the warden thing. Oh, by the way, just as a little side hint, not only um, will this give, a, give us a really nice warden farm, of course it will also make it possible for us to explore any, any deep dark city without any hassle. Because, well, <laughs> they made it so a player can only one spawn, uh, spawn one warden at a time and as we constantly spawn some, you know, they can only spawn here and therefore we will be able to explore everything in peace. So, that's that. Looking forward to raid, <laughs> raid all those, all those deep cities without any, any, you know, anything to deal with. <laughs> oh man, come on Mojang. But you tried, you tried. Okay, the chunk load will be using up here. Oh, don't tell Etho. <laughs> um, it's really, really easy. Um, Mango showed a similar design a while ago, I think. But it's pretty much just us shooting items back and forth. And um, yeah, we're using the honey blocks. The honey blocks are not a full block. That means this corner here of these hoppers that sit below are sticking out a bit. And if an item gets shot against this, the item will stick and glide down along the slime block and then make it into the hopper. And these hoppers lead back into a dropper dispenser combo pretty much. And yeah, this setup here now is just hooked up to our clock below. Right, lines coming out and uh, yeah, we need to light it up. Alright, and yeah, that is hooked up to our clock, right? It gets a signal and uh, shoots an item through every time um, this thing triggers here. And that means we are pretty much done here. I'm hearing pigmen upstairs. We saw so many pigmen spawning, we're investigating. Something is weird with the pigmen feels uh, in this 119 update. But anyways, I'm gonna uh, get away. Okay, shoot the arrows in there. And yeah, we got items loaded in the chunk loader above. Turned it on, shrieker triggered, that is good. And yeah, now we can have a look up here. Um, we should start shooting items through every time um, the clock triggers. Yep. Oh. oh man lol oh that scared me so bad i'm i'm i should kill the dragon now or something yeah <laughs> Everybody being in the ancient cities. Okay, anyways, uh, the chunk loader should be running now. And I'll make my way back. I don't want to go through the same portals here now. But yeah, I leave the area and um, yeah, we actually make it to the end. Uh, to the nether um, and, and see if we get spawns over there. 
and this thing actually works remotely. All right, and here we are <laughs> on the Nether site. Uh, locked off the camera account um, to prove, you know, I'm not loading the area with anything else. Just my arrows um, are constantly aggravating the warden over there. And they spawn here and then, yeah, just <laughs> climb out of the portal, go like, hey, what's that noise? And it looks so funny how their feet are dangling out like that. <laughs> and then they're like, huh? Noisy, noisy. Hey, stop. <laughs> yeah, and um, we just chill, right, and do whatever we want on the server in the meantime, while this thing keeps running. And yeah. Getting catalyst, we already killed 45 wardens, that means. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So stage one done. Now I mean that kind of was the job we needed to do, right? I mean obviously prove that we can easily farm the farm the warden, but you know, it's easy to deal with a mob in a contraption like that, right? There should be other ways to kill. And obviously there was a lot of questions about the arrow cannon. People wondered how powerful is this thing actually? Would it be able to sh one shoot a warden? That would be crazy. Well, my answer to that is this. Why only one warden? Alright, here we are at the arrow cannon and you guys had a lot of good comments, and suggestions, questions about the thing. And one comment was, well, okay, this is really lethal, but what if the target holds up a shield? So what would happen if a player holds up a shield and gets hit by one on our arrows that actually travel with Mach 145, I think? <laughs> How you guys calculated in the comment section? <laughs> so yeah, insanely fast. There was all kinds of uh, physical calculations what the arrow could do. It could escape Earth, <laughs> travel to the sun, you name it. Uh, really cool. But yeah, still, one shield could stop the arrow because the shield would take all the damage, disintegrate, and the player would be spared. So therefore, we need the multi-shot mode. And we're gonna install it here. Here's where the arrows get charged with all the TNT and then they sit there and then we separate them, right, and shoot that. If we don't separate them, we actually get something like a shotgun. You will be hit by four arrows at the same time, but their damage will stack. The first arrow that actually is in the, you know, list for the game will disintegrate your shield and the next one that hits you will disintegrate you and your armor. <laughs> so you, we can make it even more lethal. And we're gonna put four arrows in there just for good measure, you know, and stack damage on top of each other and do even more. All right, simple redstone connection here to our switcher, right? And um, yeah, we have a lever here now and that lets us switch between, um, yeah, single shot mode. Right now it's set to single shot mode and if we flick that, boom all the endermen um, travel over and um, yeah are perfectly lined up now for our second line of fire which is right yeah these two blocks over whoa where are you coming from hey what <laughs> like seriously where did they come from i need to double check the area here and make sure everything is torched up we don't want to have creepers or anything weird in here actually yeah need to double check something is maybe too dark um, anyways, we have the switcher now. Now we just need a firing mechanism. So what will happen now is we trigger our whole cannon setup as usual, charge the energy and then we need to be able to trigger it again. We will use our receiver here. That's why we have the switch, right? We're coming in from here. Receiver will switch over and um, or here this line will switch over so we do single shot or the multi shot to trigger the multi shot we're gonna use a simple chunk loader here again let me quickly get the grid up so at the moment everything is here uh, set up so this is a lazy loaded chunk that means the arrow stays static in here and don't vanish um, if we have a, a portal loader here and activate it for a brief moment like a few seconds to uh, load these areas the arrows will puff fly off so that's what we're going to use for a trigger here so we're going to just build another simple chunk loader right there all right portal here 
same uh, chunk loader we used before by dark i uh, linked that in the previous episode if you want to figure that out and yeah um, this only needs to be loaded for like a few seconds and then can unload again so we don't need a detector rail up here or whatever this thing is not cycling it only turns on for a very short amount of time you check it out minecart comes back that means cycle completed and that's good enough the arrangement um, of the portals on the other side is quite interesting um, and people always say cannot really link up portals well yeah you can I mean you just need to have the proper coordinates I mean pretty much any chunk that exists has uh, 8 by 8 area in the corners that um, can hold the portal and you can connect those separately in the nether so per chunk you can have four portals in the nether nicely aligned you know so it is actually doable although it is getting more and more complicated at the moment with height levels because you know height levels was also a good way to link portals properly but as the nether um, has a different height than the overworld there's some stuff wonky so you don't want to rely on that rather use the positioning like that properly and yeah this is the one chunk loader that keeps the whole um, receiver loaded and that is the, that constantly runs then while we charge the cannon and this is the one that only turns on real briefly and yeah while i was working here and doing my thing and um, you can see over there <laughs> The wardens are still spawning like absolute crazy and it should be interesting actually to check how much we have at the moment already. Alright, we're up and running, we're up and running nice and yeah as I said constantly works now. Um, no matter where we are we will soon have these chests filled up and be done <laughs> with warden farming for uh, quite some time if you're not selling those bad boys I mean it would be would be a nice sell as well ah well we'll see um, well we have the cannon prepped to do a multi shot now we should get one of those guys or why not multiple of them over to the perimeter and yeah there is actually man it's so incredibly loud wait we gotta do this differently okay we're gonna stay here all right and then we're gonna use the camera account to look at things when the, those light effects and things going on are we doing okay are we are we good all right so obviously there is a little add-on as you can see below the machine here already that is actually a flying machine and with this flying machine we will be able to transport wardens around um, to our desired destination which lies in a straight line this way because if you go a little bit further here we can already see this is the portal of the amethyst farm and a little bit further is actually our centralized portal in the perimeter so it would be a straight shot for a flying machine to transport wardens back and forth wouldn't it <laughs> yeah so I'd say um, we have the flying machine here already we just need a docking station over there and um, yeah then we can transport wardens very easily to anywhere on the server pretty much um, but for now over to the perimeter to see what happens <laughs> supersonic arrow cannon versus multiple wardens who wins all right we got a receiving station now over there and um, yeah we have this switch here and now we can you know switch the farm over to transport mode real quick here Oop, let's get out of here but as you can see oh he wants to beam us Oop, oh, oh, don't you stop <laughs> they're really mad now so now the wardens end up down there as you can see let's use camera account I just open a fence gate here it's sitting in like that and now the wardens will um, pretty much just follow this note block sound again and then fall through this snow here and then just end up here and now yeah we have the wardens actually sitting here and now I mean if we trigger down here we can actually send them off <laughs> is kind of cool but um, I want to get two more four in total so we got two sitting in there now and yeah that means we need to go back to the actual warden setup and spawn ourselves two more 
so we can reach it at the moment via the cannon portal but it definitely got to change that i need a portal to get uh, back and forth here quicker you know, that one one that is closer to the water farm all right here we are cool and now oh wait this way this way yep the farm is turned off at the moment just no need to load it with arrows and get two more in there so that's if you do a few arrows you need to do a few just to make sure it's always super stable okay let's trigger it once okay that's one warden and that's two okay we can turn it off again okay now over on the nether side we should have two more loaded on our flying machine platform and that is all fine okay let me pick up the arrows and now let's head back to the nether all right cool our wardens are there they will not despawn it's four now because you know they constantly hear the noise from the node block up there and get aggro if they're on a flying machine like that well they will also, you know, constantly stay aggro. <laughs> constantly stay aggro. Because, yeah, they constantly get the noise from the flying machine. Alright. Uh, but I guess um, it's time to launch our flying machine. So let's actually use our wool to stand on so we don't make no noise. And then we can send the flying machine from right here. Alright. Cool, man, the noise. Okay. And off we go. <laughs> uh, let's do some, some replay footage, maybe. But yeah, now we got some wardens um, that are traveling here with the flying machine. <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. I'm having way too much fun with this. Uh, look at them. I just stuck there. Can't get out because there's walls around them and there's the door in front of him. Um, yeah, and we'll make it past here, right? And um, yeah, to our docking station. Um, everything is ready back there. Just need to flick the lever and then we can um, keep on luring them. <laughs> Man, uh, it looks so crazy. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it should be four wardens in there. I don't know. Is it four? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they, you know, they constantly aggro the piston, you see? Like the piston is moving, they're like, hey, stop being noisy. I'm gonna Hulk smash you. Stop being noisy. <laughs> Yeah, but in case you wondered, you know, how you transport wardens, that's the way you do it. Or you build sound highways, there's uh, different ways, you know, we have note blocks and have them chase the note blocks, but, you know, a small little flying machine like that, that's the way to do it. If you lure them, um, you know, just by walking or whatever, then you're a pleb, how Iso would say. <laughs> you know, when he was talking about... Uh, what did you say? You're a sucker if you sand mine without TNT. So it's a new rule now. You're really uh, a sucker if you move a warden without a flying machine, <laughs> because that's really the way to go. Otherwise, yeah, it it's really tedious. This is the most chill experience. What was that? God, somebody was blowing a horn. Oh yeah, we need to get a goat horn. Uh, I wonder what will happen if the true goat father actually uses a goat horn. You know, I mean, I'm 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 the master of goats, of goatness, and therefore when we play our goat horn, and that should sound epic, I suppose. <laughs> but we will see. <laughs> we definitely need to get one. There's plenty to achieve. The heck, man! Is somebody using that in the overworld, and you can hear it, even here in the Nether? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Man. Oh god, it has started. People got goat horns. It's now it's gonna be an infinite echo loop. 
of goat horns. Yeah, I do. I hear you. <laughs> I don't know if that is intended. Are they in the nether? Okay, uh, let's activate the sound here. This will uh, lure the wardens then. You see the flying machine is coming in. And, oh, a bit close, let's stay a little bit back. Let's just do this again. And you know, we connect, they hear the sounds from the note blocks already, boom. They arrive here, gate is opened and now can see the wandering of the wardens all go through the portal here and it's indeed four nice oh god those goat horns lord this is the most noisy episode ever made oh, okay and now we can just send the flying machine back if you want to use it again for now we leave it here and i knocked out our original portal and we actually have one over here now that will bring us to Hall of Goat and then um, give us a nice view on our uh, pet wardens we should have now down right there in the perimeter. Hopefully I constructed everything properly. Alright, here we are, Hall of Goat. And then... <laughs> and then we should have wardens down there. Alright, let's have a peek. And... Uh, yeah... Oh yeah, there they are, there they are, oh, and we, oh no, we should keep them aggro, actually, oh, oh, all right, okay, okay, is that, are they targeting slime? <laughs> Might be, <laughs> yeah. The targeting the slimes over there. Eventually they will stop. Um, I might just have to go there and kill the slime. Yeah, I didn't have this note block activated right from the get go. Should have because you know that will get their their aggro right away. And they should actually try to pass find over here again and uh, fall down in our shoot. They're trying to sniff. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God. Big slime. Oh, whoa, 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 don't die now. Oh, the slime. <laughs> okay, the last one should hear it sooner or later, too. And then uh, should come down. All right, I think they. Yeah. Yeah, it just did. All right. Yeah, we got all wardens in the, in the pit. Cool, we have pet wardens. But I have to say, they are even more annoying than the slime around here. Um, I think uh, we should take care of them. But before we do that, um, I think we need to try out um, our switch, right? Actually try to find an ancient city and actually see if we have our warden switch activated. If we can actually just, you know, browse the ancient cities and loot everything without having to fear a warden being there. In theory, it should work 100%. I'm pretty sure it will practically work as well. <laughs> and those guys will stick around. No name tags needed. They just hate this note block up there. <laughs> the other day, I was on an Alicia Keys concert. <laughs> and uh, that was at the time the normal hermit meeting would happen. And while I was not there, <laughs> I think uh, a royal communism broke out on the server or something. <laughs> Ren is king, uh, as you can clearly see here and confiscated all diamonds <laughs> um, we can't we can't really uh, give up our building blocks can we I mean no way so for now um, I declare the perimeter independent state <laughs> so there's that um, if you want the diamonds come get them I guess <laughs> we'll see how that plays out 
I mean, why I like literally missed one meeting, and yeah, I have an appointment with Etho. Um, he wanted to have a quick peek um, on the perimeter, check some things out there. That's cool. I've been looking forward to that. Can't wait. I think Iso is dwelling in the basement of beat-ups, though. <laughs> he said, come by in a few minutes. So yeah, I guess uh, we give him a bit to prepare. I think that's the king's quarters up there as well, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Hello! Hey! <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? You're looking shiny. Good. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm a little bit uh, slow moving around here, though, so it takes me a while to get home. No worries, no worries. It's not too far. Um, I have an elytra with me. I could lend you. But I know you always want to get your stuff yourself. I don't know. Like, is it cool? Or we can walk. Uh, yeah, I got I to take a borrow on this one, I think. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Here, and give you a bunch of rockets. Yeah, it's definitely oh, easier. Man. Achievement got <laughs> That's how you progress in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you want you want to keep it? <laughs> if you want it, you can uh, keep it. I mean, I don't. I don't how know. about I, I I owe you some? I I owe you you for it. Does that all sound right. fair? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I no owe you worries. a favor. Yeah, that's cool. No worries. So yeah, we can land uh, down there in the middle. Where the water oh, you didn't water the whole thing. I thought you did. Not yet, not yet. Like I'm gonna do oh, it okay. step by step, and later actually put a nice pattern in here or something. <laughs> Slimes. <laughs> yeah, it's slime parodies. So if you need some slime, just feel free to come here, and you know they're always yeah, here. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Oh yeah, there whoa, you go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> All right. I see what's going on here. I got some pet wardens, you know. <laughs> Dude, I was like right by him. Yeah, but they should be cool. They're mainly focusing on the on the node block up there, constant aggro. Then they don't despawn, you know. They just oh, okay. chill there, kind of. But I'm yeah, trusting you on this one. Uh, yeah, you gotta let me see. Yeah, you can. They're looking at you. Yeah, I think. But you can see their particles right going up to the node block there. That means they target yeah. that, right? So I think they're they're totally focused on it. They're, you're good now. <laughs> they're safe. You can you can have a close look. But yeah. <laughs> How many you got in there? Just like four. Four. Or what? Four. Four. Yeah, I wanna. I have a cannon set up for them, and I wanna see if I can one shot them all at once, <laughs> <laughs> just to uh -huh. prove a point. Yeah. So yeah, that's perimeter, man. I mean, slow progress, obviously, it's huge. I want to do walls and, Dude. you know, <laughs> world eater. You, you don't appreciate how big something is until you start walking around. When yeah. you're flying, everything looks so small. Yeah, it's gnarly. Yeah, over there, I got yeah, the I elevator. It's yeah. <laughs> it's man. absolute madness. Yeah, with, with Bobby, you know, you can see the full perimeter. I don't know if it comes across uh, in your POV that you cannot see the whole thing, but yeah, when and if this Bobby... I, I going, feel like I'm in some weird world right now. I like know. It's all void around. Yeah, it's... And dark. Yeah. Like it's, it feels like it's kind of dark down here. If you look at the clouds, they're kind of dark as well. Oh, really? I have clouds off always. Didn't, didn't, didn't yeah. even recognize. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really weird. Yeah, but you know, with World Eater, it, like it, you can do it in like 14 hours or so if you non-stop run it. But yeah, <laughs> here on the server, it took a bit longer. Didn't want to run it all the time, right? And lag the heck out of everybody. <laughs> Man, this says so much about you over here, Doc. The, the copper blocks. Why? Super organized, exactly the right distance apart from each other. Not <laughs> it's every. not like a chaotic spam. Not all of them, not all of them. But yeah, I tried. Uh -huh. But you know, uh, my neighbor... The, the German engineering. <laughs> Gotta get it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> my pesky neighbor has been harassing me, though. Like, I was wondering. It took forever, you know, for them to age. And he came over and had waxed all my copper blocks. And I was working forever <laughs> on the elevator, you know, looking over. It's like, ah, why are they not aging? Uh, whatever. Yeah. And he's like... Oh, I took revenge though. I'm launching charged creepers on a hourly basis over to his base at the moment, so we're cool. <laughs> I, I saw your video on that. It's, uh, <laughs> it looks a little crazy. Yeah, everything here is crazy. I, I think I lost my mind in the solitude in this hole. Yeah, that's the elevator. Actually, should we ride it? 
write it up. Let's do it. Yeah, I didn't uh, want to check this out. Yeah, me too. I wonder what happens with your Canadian connection. Maybe you can glitch through the floor or so. We'll see. I'll Is call it, it a little uh, iffy like that or what? Well, as all multiplayer elevators, right? If you have no entity, you're riding. Yeah, you. Right. It, it can be can be a bit fishy. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So you got mobs in the redstone? Come on, Doc. No. I do. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't done fully done the lighting yet. We got to be careful a bit. Okay, here dude, we this go. is so dangerous here. <laughs> okay, you got Bang the call. Bong. Beautiful. Okay, um, wait, I need to. Oh, wait, how do I need to set? I need to quickly check. One second, I need to check how where to. I haven't finished all the controls. It's all a bit makeshift. Okay, if we want to go up, we need to go there. Okay, cool. You're using <laughs> dirt blocks for redstone dock. <laughs> N this is oh, a very temporary. I do not approve. Hey, I use only diamond blocks normally, but uh, yeah, and this uh -huh. is it's only wool. All right, um, yeah, get into the the booth. Um, and uh, okay, fingers crossed. Hurry, doc, hurry. All right. <laughs> All right. Sweet. It's going. I swear so is it? It's lifting us on the sides, like behind the trap doors. Um, there is a flying machine below, pretty much, and it's pushing us up. Oh, okay. Much. And then, you know, the doors to hold the cabin roof. Wait, it's not like honey and slime on the side? No. Oh. Yeah, it's a flying machine, and there's, like, uh, signals pulsing through, right? And it's yeah working like that. That's where you can make it a bit more compact and don't have to watch for sticky blocks or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But obviously, we have speed limits, right? If we go faster, we will definitely glitch through the floor. But hey! Well, I mean, for a flying machine, that's like as quick as you're gonna get it, right? Yeah. I mean, we could Ooh, make it nice faster. Here. Yeah. Well, I like this. If you look down, you can see the display there. Right now, it says elevators on first first floor, and if you send it, it constantly updates and uh, says new numbers. So yeah. Oh, I don't cool, know. cool. Like I don't know if you send it now a little bit down. I see a one, right? Yeah. And now, if the elevator starts going, you send him. You see, it'll it'll change real time whenever it's on the floor. I should say two, three, and so on. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Cool. Yeah, that's really neat, I think, to give a bit, you know, perspective where you're at and so on. That's something, like, I've never seen before is a horizontal seven segment like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's usually thought, vertical, right? Yeah, I thought it was a cool, cool project to do that. And it's with the water, so it's li literally like an LCD liquid cobblestone display. People call it in mm -hmm. the comments. I found it was really cool. Real liquid crystal. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, here, I mean, Hall of Goats is still all work in process or progress. In so here. I actually haven't seen your base too much. I don't yeah. think this is all, all new to me. Yeah, that's it, your base. But yeah, so much work still to do. I like how you've gone back to the original sandstone. Yes. You love sandstone. Exactly. Yeah. That's a kickback. You're, you're old school. You recognized it. I, nice. I know the sandstone. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I just try to upgrade the sandstone look a little bit, right? Make it, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just a... Uh, Upgraded it looks a lot better times. with a bit of mixed, uh, yeah. mixed in. Yeah, and then, you know, here I will have a huge hall and whatnot and the statues and my throne. Oh, those are really good. Yeah, they were as the community suggested. I loved them. I thought they're one of the best medium scale statues of anything I've ever seen. I mean, they look so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's impressive. And back there, we don't speak about this thing. That's Mambo's slime farm. The never spawned. Slime. It never spawned okay. a single slime since it exists. So yeah, that is to, pretty close to to your base. Here. Yeah, it will. Uh, I, I hope I can remove it and uh, change it. Um, you know, I have made a new one for Mambo, but from what I've been hearing, he wants to start playing in September. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might need to be some time until I can offer the swap. I might just tear it down. He'll be happy. I know it. Yeah. And over there, there's the creeper farm, right? Like if you fly out in the perimeter towards yeah, the I center. Yeah, saw, I saw your video on this too. Yeah. It's, uh, That's it's neat. producing a lot or not really? Yeah, really a lot. Like, <laughs> uh, Obviously not with all these people on, but... Oh, now we have our own mob caps, right? So it it will not be affected. Oh, that's right. Actually, yeah. It might, oh, okay. With you being here, it might actually run even better. You get double. Uh, yeah, like we have to to try it in here. Let's see, actually, if it if it does a little bit better now. Oh my God, I suck so bad with the trident. Here we go. 
in the video oh, i missed twice. it like three times already like i was like oh, oh, should no, i really no. record this clip ah whatever <laughs> okay here we go here yeah we come. oh yeah it's pretty good mm -hmm. i think it was like something like what did i say Eighteen thousand gunpowder per hour or something so yeah and then you just stand here. I will be, uh, I will be robbing you blind. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, I prepared a little something for you. Obviously, you know, you shouldn't come here and leave with empty hands. You know, oh, I, really? Yeah. Ooh. In the process of recording, I actually made a reference to it. Okay, let's let's fly up. You see that platform right there? All right. Nope. I'll, I'll oh, follow. Yeah, just straight up. That's the the working oh, platform. Oh, way up at the top. Yeah, you got enough rockets? Yeah. I think. All right, cool. Oh, All this right. is your base over <laughs> here. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, I see how it is. Uh, yeah, less this organized. Is the real base. Yeah, less organized, I confess. Wait, where was it? I have it here somewhere. So I know, you know, there's only one way to proper sand mine. And in the beginning, everything is grindy. So I got a few, few little presents for you here, here. Ooh, oh yeah! <laughs> there you go. Would you happen to have another shulker, by chance? Oh yeah, I actually do. Wait, uh, let's I see. Uh, I'm gonna need to get shulkers somehow. Yeah, at the, there's a shop uh, for him if you want to. I, I heard Impulse has one, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, a small little booth there, right in front of um, the wood shop. Can't oh, this it. is awesome, Doc. This is like the perfect gift for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> TNT, man. <laughs> oh, wow. I just saw this here. <laughs> Was it nice to hang out with Iso, man? Ah, oh, it gives me such good vibes. We know each other for such a long time. And seeing him, you know, being back on the server after knowing he had to go through some really rough times uh, just gave me pure joy. It's just great to see. <laughs> but what's also great to see is, I mean, here is our warden thing and right up there on that hill, there is actually an outpost. Wow. And wow, actually, that's a really cool world generation here. Like the outpost spawned right up here on the hill wow that's actually like a really good strategic position oh server restart incoming nice i'm waiting for that uh, i wanted to go explore for the deep dark but before i wanted to start charging the arrow cannon so we can do some test shots but yeah let's check Ooh, baby a goat horn nice that means we don't even need to hurt some of our goat friends to get one yeah, they, they can be found as loot in here in these outposts. That is cool. All right. Uh, I mean, let's see what happens if the true goat actually uses a goat horn. interesting i'm here in the nether or on the nether ceiling and here new terrain actually starts we gotta locate 155 roughly and yeah you can see there is these uh, yeah rifts in the bedrock this is when you i think new world generation starts pretty sure that's crazy i've i heard there might be some issues with bedrock generation but yeah along this line here Right, there's quite a few. There's another one, like a strip like that. So even if you can't break bedrock on your server, like if you explore in the new areas, you might get lucky and find these spots here. That's quite interesting. Okay, we need to be around 9.55 and then go back a little bit. 1.55 and then around 980 or so. Then we should be able to actually locate a deep dark biome here with an ancient city. Hopefully it's not raided yet. I mean, you know how it goes on the Hermitcraft server, right? <laughs> when there's a new update, crazy red race starts, you know, to find the 
points of interest first and yeah, a lot of stuff is raided and so on so yeah you gotta you gotta be a bit lucky but it seems um, maybe this area is not explored although farm is here don't know who owns this one looks like Hoglin farm or so gold farm maybe I don't know let's go through let's go through and then let's see where we come out oh yeah it's taking a while to for the terrain to be loaded all right let's have a quick look around all right can't see any portals and stuff man how many animals <laughs> all right um so yeah let me dig down here a little bit and see if i can locate the ancient city whoop all right yep here is one awesome um i brought some night vision so we can actually see a bit down here i guess that's totally worth it and yeah now as we have our warden switch running right we pretty much overload uh, the shriekers with constant spawning we can just you know cruise around here and there will no wardens will spawn we're safe like this is like normal biome here like we can yeah, 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 you know, see, I'm triggering. <laughs> this is a shrieker, right? Yeah. See? Doesn't do anything. <laughs> so, yeah, we own this ancient city now. It's ours. And we can look around in peace. And, yeah, what do you want to get out of here? Obviously, you want to get the books. Swift Sneak, right? And uh, that is uh, definitely something you should look for. But yeah, those ancient cities can be vast. And it's actually cool that we can explore it like that. <laughs> like in peaceful mode. <laughs> hey, Shrieker. Hello. Look, I'm making all this noise. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's look for some chests and see what loots, uh, loot awaits us. Yeah, here, this would be a tricky area to, to come to. <laughs> Alright. Oh, mending pens. Hey, why not? Some coal. Oh yeah, and here's the shards. I mean, you don't need to take skulk senses, really. There's the echo shards. Yeah, those are the disc fragments, right? You gotta put them together, then we can get the new music disc. Alright, there is normally pretty decent loot. Oh no, we can't put our gold horn away. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's... Yeah. I don't know if I should even take the pants. Yeah, maybe someone else comes here and, you know, has to fight for the loot. So I don't want them to be super disappointed if they don't get anything. All right, what do we get here? Ooh, diamond horse armor. We grab, regen, a name tag. Oh, a compass. We can actually use that to make a respawn anchor compass thing. I think with these echo shots, we do that, right? All right. Now let's have a look here. Ooh, a Swift Sneak 2. That's what we are looking for. We want to get f uh, Swift Sneak 3, though. So, oh yeah, there's Catalyst. You can also get... We can grab one. Oh yeah, and more Echo Shards. Yeah. All right, then. Man, so scary down here in the deep dark. Man, they nailed it. <laughs> what an experience. <laughs> Okay, we can walk uh, walk around here a little bit. Um, hmm, that's bro. This thing is gigantic. I mean, I don't want to, uh, you know, grab everything in here and completely loot it. Um, if I get, I have Swift Sneak Two now. I mean, either we find another Swift Sneak Two and then combine it, or two uh, Swift ne Sneak One, and then um, you know we bail. In case someone else comes, we don't want to make it pointless for them. But I don't see too many chests at the moment. Bro, this thing is gigantic. It is huge. Wow. This is a ginormous ancient city. And they have all these cool structures. I mean, you gotta give it to them. This is an amazing structure. Definitely by far the best you know, in-game structure that exists. That is so, so sure. I mean, it's just really cool. So much variation, cool, cool architecture and things. Okay, let's see. Ah, here's more chests. Ooh, look at that. It looks like some ancient altar. There's like these 
God huts. There's the portal thing. Oh, knockback. And yeah, you don't want that. All right, what is that? We grab echo shards, not a music disc. I really need to get that one. Okay, saddle. I'll grab Swift Sneak 3. Perfect. Awesome. That's actually what we needed. You know what? I'm going to put the Swift Sneak 2 book back in in case somebody makes it here, right? We can look around though uh, a little bit more. I mean, there's sometimes notch apples in the chests. What do we have here? Curse of Vanishing, but many. Okay, then. <laughs> All right. Yeah, some more catalysts. Maybe we take an additional one. Thorn 3, a hoe. Uh, efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 hoe. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. How many of these disc fragments do you actually need to make the disc? That actually would also be something we probably... Oh, there's more chests. Want to kind of do. We get a bunch of these echo shards. That's for sure. Okay, there's also XP in here. What do we got? Another swift sneak. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Crystals. All right. Nothing too interested here. I'm I'm interested in the echo shards, uh, the the disc fragments. I guess that's that's something. I don't know. How many do you need? That's another saddle. We can take that too. But I actually also brought a shulker box where we can store all our loot goodies here. I think I keep the disc fragments on me so we kind of keep track a bit. Put the saddles away and uh, most of our potions here. All right, let's keep on looking a bit. So we check this one. Yeah, disc fragments. I don't know. Maybe we need to loot several, several places for the discs. What is this here? Whoop. Okay, there's stuff. No disc fragments. Another swift sneak here. Ah, oh, should we? I say if I find another Swift Sneak 3, we'll take it, so we have a backup book in case, I don't know, we lose our armor, we want to put it on or so. I think that would be fair, but as I said, I don't know how we're going to do with the with the ancient cities, but, you know, on servers, they are rare, and, yeah, people will look for them, it's going to be like the end, we might have to regularly purge. Oh, okay, there was actually a bunch of disc fragments in here. Can we assemble that? Now, somehow, no idea how many, does it need nine? Hmm, uh, at the moment we can't craft anything, that's for sure. Maybe, ooh, okay, there's more channeling, bunch of uh, sensors, normal music discs, okay. Hmm. I love how they're all going berserk and the and the shriekers are just like, nah, you know, I'm busy right now over at the warden farm. I'm globally not gonna spawn anything. A lead. Oh wow. Okay. Um so yeah, I'm gonna browse around here a little bit. I mean you've seen it, it's a huge huge thing. But um yeah, I'm trying to check how many disc fragments we actually need to make a disc and uh, trying to see if I can complete that down here. If not, well, still, oh, we still can look for a different one. Oh, I'm, a, you know, I'm gonna die in here because I flew into the wall. That's actually, would be hilarious. Oh, night vision wearing off. Okay, I'll, I'll look around a little bit more. All right, back in the perimeter. And yeah, our pets are still here. <laughs> it's the next day right now. So yeah, they just kept on aggroing, survived the server restart. Um, I'm charging the cannon at the moment. We got another 20 minutes to go, but we can make good use of this time and actually enchant our pants. Yeah, uh, here, swift sneak. All right, swift sneak three on there. That is cool, all right, sneaking. Yeah, it's definitely fast. I probably can can uh, side stack now really fast. That's nice. Yeah, that's that's a really good enchantment. That's like the best loot for sure you get out of these ancient cities. There. Let's head up and check uh, what else we got. I looked around a little bit more, but I also left a few chests there untouched um, for other hermits. 
So yeah, this is what we got. I got three Swift Sneak 3 books in total now. Found three Notch Apples, which is kind of funny. Yeah, quite frequent down there. One normal golden apple and then just the stuff you saw. And then in total I have 10 disc fragments. So yeah, I think... Yeah, that's how you do it. Yep, nine pieces are needed. All right, so we got the super rare music disc now. Uh, I think we should make a make something to play that as well. Let's grab some diamundos and some wood. Make ourselves a jukebox. And do we have some pre? Yep. Okay, and then we can give it a whirl and listen to it. <laughs> I hope it's worth it. All the all the hassle. I mean, normal for normal players. If you actually have a hard time in the <laughs> deep dark. Okay, here we go. Hello? Ah, it's one of those. What the? I was hoping for some good beats, like, you know, how is this one? Other side, man, come on! <laughs> Go, go, go! Yeah! You know, that's what I'm talking about. You be vibing. What is this weird noise? I'm glad we found this one here. Cool, cool, cool. I need to actually put them... Man, I have weird stuff in my eye. I need to organize. Things need to be organized. Okay, we put it here for now. Um, if somebody needs a disc fragment, we don't need another one. <laughs> what the heck? What a weird track. Okay, thing's still running. Really good. Yep. Not too shabby. <laughs> let's take a few. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, those things actually are really good to, to repair tools. <laughs> so you can get over the fact that the actual so-called useless drop of the warden is the only useful thing you can get <laughs> of this whole thing with the warden. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> uh, Alright, so uh, with a hole we should be able to break those things real fast. And then each of them is worth like 20 XP. Pretty cool. Might also be a nice building block actually. How does the texture from below look? That's interesting to know. I think it pretty much looks the same. Wait, we have this one hole we found in the deep dark as well. Yeah, that's that's quick stuff. Um, let's put our... Huh? Boom, repairs the tools real quickly. Yeah, that's the proper portable XP, man. Hopefully they don't nerf anything. Uh, yeah, we showed today again, man. I'm so tired of these target fixes. Whenever I show something, then Mojang goes like, Oh, wow, let's patch it. Please, Mojang, just leave me alone, man. We're just playing the game, bro. You know, don't, don't target fix again. I'm already still annoyed that you tried to target fix uh, update suppression, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute in a bit. <laughs> yeah, but that's a really good XP source, those guys. Fast to mine, you know, and then you just have an ender chest, <coughs> have a few in there, <coughs> in your XP shulker box pretty much. That is that is actually really neat. All right. Good stuff. So, yeah, we are... We, <laughs> we got enough uh, skull catalyst now that yeah, will last us f until, I don't know, server reset. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever that might come, probably in a long, long time. At least if it goes after me, man. You know, I have so much stuff to do, like this will literally take a year. All right, let's wait for the cannon, for the grand finale. All right. Oh, we actually had some mobs spawning back there under the platform. 
Oh, wait. The warden might detect them and obliterate them. Oh. Oh, you got lucky. That creeper there. Sonic boom him. There's a bat flying around too. All kinds of distractions. <laughs> well, it's also lots of slime. Is it? Is it? It's daytime. I just slept. Okay, okay. Let's just try it out, guys. Uh, the cannon is charged. Um, if everything goes well, the, um, we will shoot. Oh my God, creeper! Come on now, really? Do I have my trident? No. Oh, I do have a bow now, actually. Right, right, right. I'm a big boy with a bow. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Warden versus super arrows. Look. Oh. Whoa. Okay. We sniped three. <laughs> and yeah, I exactly know what happened here. There is a chance this actually can happen. So, one survived. We had four arrows loaded. Why did one survive? And actually, now that means we gotta keep this guy. I mean, you know, it's destiny. He was, he was meant to survive that. We actually also got three warden heads out of that. Pretty cool. So yeah, what happened is the Enderman tried to teleport away, um, as you know, right, with the system. And there is, uh, they try 64 times in a tick. And if you shoot four arrows at them, you know, like that, like crazy, there is actually a chance that one of the Endermen doesn't manage to teleport away and find a place uh, to teleport um, in time. So to make uh, this go away, that we always have 100% reliably and all arrows arrive, three or four arrived. So worst case is that actually maybe one doesn't make it through, that all of them can't make it through, that's next to impossible. But yeah, we just increase the space around the Enderman a little bit, so they have an easier time finding a potential teleportation space. That's exactly what happened here. I was kind of semi expecting that, but I'm really pleased, um, yeah, that it was still a great success. I mean, we one shot at three wardens. <laughs> that was crazy. How does a one look wearing a warden helmet, right? Actually. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty cool. So yeah, full success, uh, a little hint. Um, this cannon does 5,600 <laughs> damage. So a warden is literally no match to it. Nothing in the game can withstand the ultimate arrow cannon. And with that said, I'd say we wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Oh, <laughs>